It's no bigger than a golf ball. It doesn't roar, doesn't bite off limbs, doesn't even chase its prey. In fact, most people don't even notice it until it's too late. This is the blue-ringed octopus. And despite its size, it's one of the most venomous animals on the planet. Its bite can kill a human in under 10 minutes, and there is no antidote. In today's episode, we dive into why this beautiful glowing creature is one of nature's deadliest secrets, and how something so small can bring down something a thousand times its size without you ever seeing it coming. Tiny, beautiful, and deadly. At first glance, the blue-ringed octopus is stunning. Its skin is covered in glowing, iridescent blue rings that pulse and shimmer when it feels threatened. It almost looks like it belongs in a jewelry box, not the ocean. But behind that hypnotic glow is a warning, one of the clearest in nature. When those blue rings flash, it's not a light show, it's a signal, back off, or else. And or else means death. So, how dangerous is it? The venom of a single blue-ringed octopus contains enough tetrodotoxin to kill 26 adult humans, and it can do so in a matter of minutes. This isn't the kind of venom that causes pain or swelling. It's far worse. Tetrodotoxin blocks your nerves from communicating with your muscles, causing full-body paralysis. You stay awake and fully conscious, but you can't move, you can't speak, and soon, you can't breathe. If medical help doesn't arrive fast enough, you suffocate while totally awake. There is no antidote. That's right. No antidote, no anti-venom, no miracle cure. The only way to survive a blue-ringed octopus bite is supportive care, usually artificial ventilation until the toxin wears off, which could take hours. Even then, recovery is uncertain. Some people survive, others don't. It all depends on how quickly they're treated and how much venom entered the body. Part of what makes the blue-ringed octopus so deadly is how harmless it looks. It's tiny, only 5 to 8 inches fully stretched. It fits in the palm of your hand. It doesn't chase people, doesn't flash big teeth, and doesn't make any threatening noises. That's how it gets close. People in Australia and Southeast Asia, where it's most common, have mistaken it for a toy, picked it up while snorkeling, or found it hiding in a tide pool. By the time those glowing rings start flashing, it's already too late, too. Here's the really creepy part. Most people who get bitten don't even feel it. The blue-ringed octopus has a tiny beak, and its bite is often painless. It injects venom through a microscopic puncture, usually when it feels trapped or threatened. By the time symptoms show up, tingling lips, dizziness, slurred speech, the venom is already in your bloodstream. Minutes later, paralysis. And if untreated, death. Tetrodotoxin is one of the most powerful neurotoxins known to science. It's the same poison found in pufferfish, and it's 1200 times more toxic than cyanide. It works by blocking sodium channels in your nerves. This stops signals from reaching your muscles, including the ones that control your lungs and heart. It's tasteless, odorless, and virtually undetectable in small doses, which means the blue-ringed octopus doesn't need force or strength, just a few drops of this natural chemical weapon. You might think such a tiny creature wouldn't need such extreme poison, but remember, the ocean is a brutal place. The blue-ringed octopus is slow, squishy, and edible. It doesn't have teeth, claws, or speed, but it has venom. And that venom does more than kill. It prevents conflict. Its glowing rings are like flashing neon signs that say, you really don't want to test me. Predators, including humans, learn the hard way. Sadly, the blue-ringed octopus isn't just dangerous in theory. There have been multiple recorded deaths, including a man in Australia who picked one up while walking along the beach, a young boy who touched one in a tide pool, and a woman who tried to handle one for a tourist photo. In each case, the symptoms came fast. By the time medical help arrived, it was just too late. And still, many people don't even know these creatures exist. They're found mostly in Australia, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Japan. They prefer shallow, sandy areas near coral reefs and tide pools, the exact places people go snorkeling or collecting seashells. Sometimes they hide inside bottles, cans, or shells on the ocean floor, waiting silently. So, while you're picking up that pretty shell, you might be touching death. Despite the warnings, people still try to handle these animals. Why? Because they're beautiful 
glowing, gentle looking, they don't run away, they don't attack, and that makes people feel safe, but it's a fatal mistake. The most dangerous animals aren't always the loudest or the biggest. Sometimes, they're the quietest ones hiding in plain sight. So, the next time you see something glowing and beautiful in the ocean, don't touch it, because the blue-ringed octopus might look harmless. But it's a loaded weapon disguised as art. Let us know in the comments. Had you heard of this creature before? Would you have picked it up? And, if you love discovering the hidden dangers, superpowers, and secrets of the natural world, subscribe to Fierce and Fascinating. Because out here, even the smallest things can be the deadliest.